once upon a time, this edifice, which was constructed in 1976, hosted the Festival of Arts and Culture a year later. In the last 45 years, this landmark structure has become a shadow of itself. But now, it is about to receive a breath of fresh air as the commitment by the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Bankers Committee has reached an advanced stage. About 21 billion naira has been earmarked for the refurbishment of National Arts Theatre, but that is not the only work to be done. The signature cluster will consist of a building each of music, film, fashion, and ICT verticals. In addition to this, a welcome of visitor center, police and fire stations, and structured parking for up to 500 vehicles will be built. Similarly, Mr. Mohammed, who has been representative of the federal government from the birth of the idea, gives a hint of what the government hopes to achieve with the handover of the edifice. For the federal government, this is a win-win situation. Not only will the National Theatre be restored and better managed, upon completion, it is estimated that an additional 600 permanent and 2,000 to 3,000 call on call up jobs will be created. For the Lagos State Governor, the idea is in line with the vision of his administration and gives a hint of what can be achieved with such partnership. For me, it's not only the National Theatre that I see. I see a transportation solution that has been solved. But more importantly, I see urban regeneration. I see a total transformation in this entire neighborhood. From the Ebutemeta Creek, you begin to see a regeneration that will happen at Otto. You begin to see a regeneration that will happen around Costain. And eventually, we'll begin to get to Ijora Badia. Nobody needs to be told that the future that we dream of is beginning to happen here today. Shortly after is the business of the day, signing of several contract agreements. The edifice is expected to wear a 21st century look in the next 15 months, all things being equal.